June 21st, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, from the New Testament. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, I did not come with superior eloquence or wisdom as I proclaimed the testimony of God, for I decided to be concerned about nothing among you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and with much trembling. My conversation and my preaching were not with persuasive words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of the Spirit and of power, so that your faith would not be based on human wisdom, but on the power of God. Now we do speak wisdom among the mature, but not a wisdom of this age or of the rulers of this age who are perishing. Instead, we speak the wisdom of God, hidden in a mystery that God determined before the ages for our glory. None of the rulers of this age understood it. If they had known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But just as it is written, things that no eye has seen or ear heard or mind imagined are the things God has prepared for those who love him. God has revealed these to us by the Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. For who among men knows the things of a man except the man's spirit within him? So too no one knows the things of God except the Spirit of God. Now we have not received the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, so that we may know the things that are freely given to us by God. And we speak about these things, not with words taught us by human wisdom, but with those taught by the Spirit, explaining spiritual things to spiritual people. The unbeliever does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, and he cannot understand them because they are spiritually discerned. The one who is spiritual discerns all things, yet he himself is understood by no one. For who has known the mind of the Lord so as to advise him? But we have the mind of Christ. God, I know that the Holy Spirit lives inside of me. I know I've been sealed with the Holy Spirit. I know this for a lot of reasons. One of them is what 1 Corinthians 2 talks about, which is the knowledge that comes along with having the spirit of you inside of us um, and the understanding of things where other people don't understand things. But in reading this, just to be completely honest, because you already know, I feel like I'm not very wise. I, I have book smarts. I'm very smart. <laughs> I'm just not very wise. I keep choosing the things of this earth over you. And it's completely baffling to me because I know on paper that's got to be the stupidest choice I could choose over what you're offering me. And yet I can't seem to get away from this prison of the worldly things that have been in my life in the past. I know only with your power, only with your strength can I break those bonds. I can't do it myself. And I know that I am still in that prison. Not necessarily because I choose to be, but because I choose not to give up control. I choose not to lay everything down at your feet. I choose to make myself an idol in my world. And for that, God, I'm, I'm incredibly sorry. It's really hard reading your word and, and knowing that I do have that wisdom of what your son did for, for me and for everybody in the world on that cross. And yet I still go back to my worldly things. God, today I, I just ask that if it's your will that your strength come into my, into my heart that I do not have enough power in my life to break free of this prison at all. I'm asking that you come alongside me 
and you use your strength and your power to break all these bonds that I have to the world. It's not where I want to live at all. I want to be your child. I want to reflect everything that is good about you. God, I want to love everyone as though you were loving them. I want to take care of people who may not have heard of you yet, who need help in this world. I want my world to be about you, <laughs> not me. God, thank you for giving me the spirit of you who lives inside of me. That I have not received the spirit of the world as this particular chapter talks about. But yet I'm still attracted to it. God, allow your spirit to overtake me. Allow your spirit to be in control of my life. Allow me to lay everything down at your feet and give up control of everything. <laughs> because it's only when I do that do I know that you can fully use my life for what you need to. God, I just pray for strength. And allowing me an opportunity to escape the world. In your son's name I pray. Amen.